RFID filtering and how it works. Let's get into it. A simple yet common question when it comes to tracking items with RFID is, how can I identify one specific asset in a large group of tagged items? The answer is filtering. Filtering is the process of setting a prefix or string of numbers within the RFID reader. And then when the reader scans for RFID tags, it will block out any tag that doesn't contain that prefix or string. You can see the power of using filtering, especially when there are many tags circling the area or you need to locate one specific tag. The only catch is that filtering is only as good as the data structure programmed into the RFID tag. So what I mean is, if the data programmed into the tag is completely random and unique, locating that tag is made much more difficult. So how do we get around this while also ensuring the uniqueness of your RFID tags? That is where data standards like the RAIN ISO numbering system and GS1 come into play. They make locating specific tags much easier when they ensure a prefix that is made for your specific company and product that you're tagging. If you want to learn more about standards like the RAIN ISO numbering system and GS1, leave a comment below and I'll make sure to cover each standard in more detail on a future video. Thanks for joining me on this week's episode of RFID Made Simple. As always, leave some comments below on what other RFID concepts you want made simple.